Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, I'd like to share with you, you know, kind of the reason why uh, I I now park my trailers at a different location. You know, my driveway, uh, it's a long enough driveway, I could probably, uh, on a regular basis, park my uh, larger RV transport campers that are, you know, 20, 30, close to 40 foot long. Uh, but uh, for me, having both of my dump trailers uh, in my driveway, it just seems like a bridge too far. Uh, just something that's not going to work out very well. Uh, especially having neighbors who just kind of stare at me and look and just kind of, what what's going on? Why do you have two trailers now? Why do you have two dumpsters sitting in your driveway? You know, I, I can just imagine all their all their thoughts and ideas, and I've, I've already kind of made a, a video talking about that, uh, kind of maybe the right mindset to maybe have. Uh, if you've got some nosy neighbors uh, <laughs> when it comes to those kind of things, uh, like I do, uh, go ahead and check that video out if that would be a help. Uh, but uh, for me, um, you know, uh, the name of the game is, uh, this isn't just a little side hustle. This isn't just a, a cute little, a little thing that I'm trying to do. Uh, I want this to be a business. Uh, this is going to be, uh, hopefully someday my, my long-term, uh, business operation that I'm going to be paying my bills with. It's going to be, uh, putting food on the table, taking care of my family, uh, it's just kind of my my passion at this point. I want to building this business uh, The thought of being able to use my truck use trailers be able to set my own schedule uh, run things interact with customers um, that, that whole idea uh, is just something that I'm just falling in love with and so the more and more I look at this uh, I've just got to be operating this from the beginning. I don't want to have to make some transition uh, from a side hustle uh, little thing into a, a bigger business for me uh, I'm all in and so uh, with that comes uh, some steps that need to happen uh, to be able to uh, kind of build out from there so uh, so what I have done uh, this property that I'm at uh, it's actually a buddy of mine uh, his property and uh, I'm renting uh, some space from him uh, to be able to use this and for me you know this was just kind of a no-brainer as soon as uh, as soon as he kind of told me about this location uh, one, one property he owns uh, that has enough storage space for uh, for my dump trailers uh, it was just kind of a, a, a duh uh, <laughs> for me um, I wanted some place uh, that was not my front driveway uh, that was somewhat close enough to me uh, but I knew it was going to be safe of course I'm not going to share where this property is at uh, but uh, he does have a security system I do have electrical power to be able to charge uh, my actual batteries here so that's that's a good thing for me at some point down the line I believe he is going to be fencing this whole place in uh, having a front gate uh, so it'll be even more you know locked down uh, for my setup and uh, that for me just safety and security and longevity knowing and for me, knowing uh, that I do have a home for these trailers at any point in time uh, that I can just drop them off and they're going to be safe. I don't have to worry about them. Uh, that's, that's really just the name of the game for me. Um, I think once you get more than one trailer, uh, like I have done having the second trailer, man, um, it's, it's going to be so worth having another place to actually store these, to drop them off. Uh, you know, right now, uh, this... Uh, trailer that I have here. It's loaded. Uh, we're about to take it and hook it up and uh, go get it dumped. But I think being able to uh, to have a secondary place to put them, uh, or maybe a, it's really a primary place, and then my driveway becomes the secondary. You know, if I happen to have my uh, first trailer hooked up to my truck, uh, and maybe I didn't bring it out uh, to this location, I just stayed at home. Uh, having one trailer is not going to uh, be that big of a deal for me. Uh, having that, uh, you know, parked at home, but certainly having two is just way overkill, uh, in my opinion. And so the way I view this whole thing, uh, my just encouragement to you, uh, when you do get to the point where you might need a second trailer or maybe a third, uh, maybe you don't have, uh, the space. You don't know how you're going to expand. Uh, you know, these are the kind of growing pains that I'm just starting to experience, um, with having a second dumpster, you know, maybe it's not even going to be, uh, rented out all the time. The second one for right now, it's not, 
Uh, right now I'm consistently getting enough for one and then maybe just a little bit more. And so I'm trying to capitalize on having a second dumpster. But the way I view this, I, I'm just kind of investing. I'm kind of planting seeds for the future. You know, someday I'm going to be able to buy maybe a third trailer. Uh, man, that would be incredible to have that much business. Uh, but if and when I do that, I need to know where am I going to put this thing? If, if I had tried to cram both trailers uh, into my driveway and consistently have that and first of all my wife probably wouldn't be too too much of a fan of that uh, but if I were to not be uh, you know paying a little bit of rent and and having a place like this to where I could buy a third trailer and guess what I don't have to worry about well oh no I, I definitely can't fit the third one in my driveway now where am I gonna put it I have enough space on this property where I could expand to several more trailers if I needed to, uh, depending on what my what my buddy allows me to do on this property. Uh, I think there's definitely enough room for more and more trailers. Uh, and we're, you know, at some point probably gonna talk about that later on. I know at some point in the future, uh, you know, getting three, maybe four, maybe five, and then we'll see what happens after that, uh, whether more, uh, you know, dump trailers or roll off uh, bins uh, and having that kind of setup. You know, I'm going to be able to expand here to kind of the uh, mid-range of, of how many dumpsters I'm planning on having in the future. Uh, I'm going to be able to get to three, four, five maybe, and that's still plenty of room on this property. I'm sure my rent will be going up uh, over time here with, uh, with having more and more trailers. I more than understand that. That's a part of business. I'm getting more value storing more trailers here. Therefore, my rent needs to go up. Uh, more than reasonable. I understand that. That's the cost of business. Uh, but understanding uh, for right now, I have security. I have a home for these trailers. Uh, they're on a safe property. Uh, they, they are a little bit further away from my home. They're about 25 minutes away uh, from home. So that's uh, definitely a factor. I'm paying more for fuel. I'm, I'm spending more time doing this job to be able to get out here to do these things. Uh, but for right now, this is my, this is my best option. Uh, either home or here and I'm continuing to, to maybe look for other places uh, as a possibility for the future of maybe uh, one day even buying a couple acres of land if if that's the way I want to go buying some land building up my my own security my own fence my own you know all these things having it put together to where I do have my own yard of trailers, of bins, of you know, you name it. Uh, being able to have that uh, down the road, that would be huge. Uh, that's definitely not where I'm at right now. I understand that, I get it, but I'm just thinking long term. What, where does this go? You know, going from one trailer to three trailers total. Um, that that's going to take a lot of friction. That's a lot of grinding. That's a lot of work effort. But from three to five, and maybe five to eight depending on what, what I go with after that, you know, I feel like it's, it's a snowball effect. Uh, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Um, it's getting my name out there, getting name recognition, people knowing who I am, uh, being reasonable, getting good reviews. All of those things go into these factors. All of those things are factors uh, in this business. Uh, and so I believe for me right now, uh, maybe it seems a little silly to just have two trailers paying rent uh, on a property that is a little further away. It definitely is. But I know for me in my current, you know, segment or pool of trailers that I have, you know, maybe one to five or one to three, this is the perfect setup for me. Uh, I can expand. I don't have to worry about, well, what's going to happen next? How am I going to make this work? I've got, I'm able to expand and build without having concerns about, you know, well, if I buy one more trailer, then I'm really in a pickle. Like, that's not an option. That's not really a thing. Uh, so anyways, uh, I would just encourage you, if you already have a trailer, if you're already hustling, you're already going, maybe you're starting to consider your second trailer. Uh, start looking around. Look at property. Look at, ask friends, ask you know, family. Hey, is there any place that I could safely park these trailers? Does anybody have any property that I would be able to expand? Maybe one to three trailers. Uh, maybe that would be more than enough for you for a good long while. And then maybe you upgrade to four or five uh, and kind of go from there. 
you know, there's several people on YouTube uh, who have places to store their trailers. Maybe they've got uh, a bigger property at their own home. They're able to capitalize on that. Uh, maybe even write that off as, you know, business storage, uh, business expenses for that, paying rent to your to your home. You're uh, using it as a business and, uh, you know, that would go into maybe, maybe property taxes. And that would most likely go against your property taxes, uh, having the business be able to, uh, you know, utilize your home. Uh, in that way but uh, I just think overall this is definitely a thought that needs to be kind of put out there I know other people have talked about this uh, in the past but for me this is a a reality <laughs> going from one to two dump trailers uh, from just somebody's driveway uh, it's just I mean it's gonna be ugly uh, depending on your your property and, and maybe it's not maybe you can get away with two or three or maybe even more before you have to expand to another location. But for me, this gives me peace of mind. Uh, I know that I can expand here. It's safe, it's it's a good place to be. And uh, I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the growing pains going forward. I'm good for a good little bit now. Uh, I'm not planning on buying a third dump trailer. Uh, it's not even in my, in my sights uh, right now. So uh, anyways, just want to throw this out there as a help to you guys. Uh, this is something that will come up down the road. If you're not there, maybe you just bought your first one. Uh, and uh, that's the least of your concerns of where to store it. Uh, you're just trying to find customers. And believe me, I'm with you. I understand that. Uh, 100%. So, so this is just a thought for you uh, as you're kind of building your business. Uh, we'll kind of see how things go. If, if uh... so, this is just a thought for you to be. So this is just a helpful thought for you. Something I've been thinking about. Something that I thought, oh man, I'm so glad I've already got this in place uh, with this property because man, it would really be upsetting if if I literally I can't find another place to put my second you know trailer. Uh, if if I'm not renting them out all the time, if they would have to sit at the house, you know, a couple nights a week or, or maybe even more than that. Maybe it's uh, it's you know less regular that both of them are gone at the same time. Uh, that could be a real uh, headache depending on. Uh, where you live. Uh, I know for me, for me, I just want to make sure that I keep my business uh, and my personal things kind of separate as possible. And so for me, this was just another thing uh, where I could divide my personal versus my business side of things uh, in life and uh, wanted to do that as soon as I could uh, where it actually made sense uh, having more than one trailer. So uh, with all that being said, hopefully you have a great day today. Stay safe, guys, and God bless.